So I've already went in and done my eyebrows off camera. Eyebrows take a little bit more time than they need to. At least I take way more time on my eyebrows than I need to, but hey, I gotta make sure they're perfect, okay? So I went on ahead and did those off cameras, but I'm gonna post another video strictly for the eyebrows so you can see my eyebrow routine. I also went on ahead and just moisturized my face and primed it. I'll list everything down below. Um, now I'm just gonna go ahead, as you can tell, I have a lot of dark spots. So I'm gonna go ahead with my orange corrector. And this is a, um, it's not the darkest uh, palette, but it's like a medium to dark um, skin tone with the different shades in there. So I'm gonna go ahead with that orange one and go ahead and color correct. All of my little dark marks. Now, I'm not gonna go in with this too much just because it is a little warm outside and I just don't wanna have too much on my face, but I do wanna cover my little dark marks. Now, right here is where I actually, some people would actually prefer to use a beauty blender. And as you saw, I apply it first with a, um, a brush, but I'm actually taking my fingers my ring finger since it has the lightest touch so I don't rub too hard and I actually pat that in a little bit better so it blends a little bit evenly so it's not really showing through my foundation. So next, I'm gonna go on my Maybelline Super Stay foundation. I have the color 355, which is coconut. I'm actually a little bit darker than that now since the sun's been out, but I'm gonna just darken it up a little bit with my contour, but go on with that. And I'm actually gonna put a little bit up there, a couple here. I'm just gonna take a medium, like dense to fluffy brush. This actually is like a cheap brush I got from Kohl's a while back. And I always do a little bit at a time first, just in case I can go, I need to go back and add more foundation. I don't do a lot to begin with because then I have to take it off and I don't want to look too cakey or too dark. Go ahead and add just a little bit more foundation, right? I remember my little problem areas. little bit down to like my top lip just because it gives it more of an even look even when I add lipsticks or lip glosses it keeps my keep me from looking too toned I can just be one one little shade here all right look at look at me so now I'm gonna go ahead and conceal underneath my eyes a little bit on my chin and maybe just a little bit on my forehead I'm gonna go ahead and take this shade here it's more like a beige-ish like a beige honey kind of color and then I'm actually gonna take another concealer that I have here which is similar to the LA Girl Cosmetics ones but it's the Nick Knack New York concealer so it's about a couple shades lighter than me or a shade lighter than me and this one is about three shades lighter than me so what I do is put both of them on and then blend them together I'm actually going to blend that all the way out by my brow right here where my, my cheekbone starts and bring it on down. And I'm actually drag that toward my top lip. Add a little bit of that on my chin too. But as she's looking, I'm actually going to take my foundation brush with a little bit of my foundation that's on it and actually blend out the corners or the edges of my concealer. Knickknack, okay, whatever it is, 
and I actually have a medium powder. So it's not like a banana powder, which is more yellow and it's not white, it's not too ashy, but it's not too dark either. So when it sets, it doesn't get black. It's more like that medium tone, just like right along with the um, concealer palette. So I'm actually gonna take that on a wedge, a little wedge sponge. I'll just put a little bit in my cap. And again, I always do a little bit first, just in case I can add more instead of putting too much and then I'll look like a ghost. I'm gonna add that right underneath my eyes. And no, I'm not baking. I'm not baking, because sometimes baking, letting it sit too long, just makes you look way too ashy. Way too ashy. But look at how, it's giving me a little airbrush little finish under there. I'm just gonna take that anywhere where I put concealer. And I'm not gonna lie, because it is warm outside and I, I plan on going outside, I might be going all in with this just a little bit, so bear with me. I'm gonna blend it out and make it look good, but I just wanna make sure, because I have really oily skin, make sure that I'm not shining. Shining, 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 yeah. Shining, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna actually go in with those last two darkest shades that I have and in that same um, concealer kit. And I'm gonna kind of mix those together what I have left. And I'm gonna just add that just to the outside of my face. I don't wanna really say it's contouring cause I'm really not trying to like shape my face that much, but I just wanna be able to just bring that color down just a little bit so that it matches the rest of my body better. So now for these red lips again, this is something else that's not that expensive. It's an LA Girl matte lipstick. Well, it says it's a flat velvet matte lipstick. So it's matte, but it's not like super dry. Because I want it to be a little bit more bold, I'm just actually gonna go in with a black, regular black pencil, eyebrow pencil, lip liner pencil. And I'm gonna just go ahead and line my lips. I can see that. I'm doing a thin line too because I don't want it to look too thick. And I pretty much just blend as I go. And now I'm gonna go ahead and go in with that lipstick. so pretty like look at how it's so bold mm -mm -mm. What I'm actually gonna do now I'm just gonna keep like applying my liner applying my lipstick just to, so I can get it to where I really want it to be but I'm gonna go ahead and apply my lashes um, um, but the name of this brand is iconic I, I think you can find it pretty much in any like local drugstore, beauty supply store. Old enough, they're kind of wispy without being too, um, I don't know if you can see that, without being too, like too, too much. I don't know. That's the lash right there. Let me see. It's a little bit clearer. Oh, there it is. What I try to do is put my lashes more so toward the inside of my eye where it brings it in a little, just a little bit more. Reason being is because other than that, if I don't, 
my eyelash like it's hanging. Like I hate a hanging lash and they're already long, so. Apply it there and then push them on up. I'm gonna put the other one on. I try to make sure that the glue is tacky enough because I hate trying to rush and the glue is still like really wet and it get all over my eye. Then I end up having to wipe off my foundation and I have to do everything all over again. And I always, I, and maybe it's just me, I actually like to push my lashes up just a little bit because I don't like them to look straight. I like to see the curve, the curl of the lash. And uh, it makes it look a little bit more bold. It makes it make more of a statement. Because I know some lashes, because they're longer, they curl, but not as much because they're so long. You know, but I like mine to actually curl up. And then it makes it look a little bit more flirty. So when I be seeing my baby, hey, boo. Yeah. That, okay. Yeah, we're not gonna do that. <laughs> so I've got my brows done, all nice, clean, and concealed, and filled in. We got our lashes on, foundation, concealer, and our powder. And like I said, before I get done, I'm actually gonna add a little bit more, just because I can feel myself getting hot. And as you can see, I'm just a little bit. I don't even know why it's this hot in here. Like, with just a little bit more powder. you have it it's a wrap about to go see my boo um but thanks for watching guys if you guys want to tune in please do so like comment and subscribe hit the subscribe button tell a friend to tell a friend and i'll be back next time i'm really i'm just really bad with the jokes i'm sorry guys i'm sorry